Hello everybody, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Kudemo. This is Matt Weiss. Hey Dan, how's it going? Hi. Um, well, we got a Predators game for you, but first off to remind everyone that we are Nashville Strong. Nashville Strong Initiative due to the tragic tornado that wiped out 50-something miles and, and then produced damaging winds for up to 83 miles. Um, Nashville is looking for any kind of way they can get help. Um, one of the main car, uh, ways you can help is go looking up uh, the community. F uh, what is it? The I know it. Yeah, go ahead. Is it the Community Foundation of Middle Tennessee? Correct. And I think we can even uh, put a link down below. Also, Admirals fans, if you're looking into getting in your way, you may not have won your bids. You may have bidded some guys up a little bit to raise the price. I know everybody wanted that 2018-19 signed uh, Preds jersey. <laughs> yes. But there's other ways you can help. Yeah. Um, come to the Admirals games on the 13th and 14th, the proceeds of the 50-50 raffle. Florida Everblades fans, you're looking for a way you can help? If I remember correctly, they have an uh, uh, affiliation night coming up. All the proceeds from their 50-50 are going to be going. So let's raise as much money as we can per our organization. Yeah. Um, Nashville, you guys know already know what to do. Mm -hmm. um, you guys can go, like we said, to the... Uh, the Community Foundation of Middle Tennessee website. Correct. Or um, I believe uh, the Nashville Predators website themselves have a link to um, that. Yes, you can go to Nashville Predators slash Nashville Strong, mm -hmm. and it'll give you a link right to uh, My Smashville Tickets. Yep, it uses their, uh, was it the ticket account uh, website? Yes, um, which is what I used when I went. There you go. So, um, uh... I want to thank one of our fans uh, who uh, inboxed us yesterday uh, about the Everblades. We apologize. Uh, me and Matt were kind of under the weather a yeah. little bit. We were uh, pretty pretty slammed on videos. <laughs> yeah. Also, I currently, uh, most people haven't seen it because it's off screen, but I've been walking around with a brace the whole time, so it's not easy getting around either. <laughs> But he does like my new house configuration. It makes it so much easier for him. Yep. All the legroom means all the difference. Yes. So um, those are just some of the things that we got going for us. Also, it's like really like the, the last thing to mention, I think, is like the outright support that the like I think we touched on it a little bit. But there's so much support going on from like the Everblades, the Admirals. Uh, was it the Blackhawks, uh, Dallas Stars? Dallas Stars even did something tonight, and we're getting into that. A hundred thousand dollars. Hundred thousand dollars from what was it their fifty-fifty? Yeah, they pulled a hundred thousand dollars, and not only that, but oh no, it was ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand. It was ten thousand dollars. Is that a fifty-fifty? Mm -hmm. And the uh, the DSF. Which is the Dallas Stars, Stars Foundation, Foundation. Um, is going to match that. Nice. So, we bravo sticks, to you guys. We had stick sweet stick taps. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting up. No, <laughs> I'm not getting up either because foot. <laughs> um, also, as you people may know, uh, may not know, um, off screen he is a full time college student. So if you don't see him on every video, don't worry, he's probably studying for something. Yeah, I'm making videos for you know. For my university. <laughs> yeah. How All dare time. you do work for anybody other than us? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How dare you try to get a better education? <laughs> How dare I try to get better work? <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, no, uh, we, we have a lot of fun. Yeah. This is our fun thing. We, I mean, if it ever comes to something, hey. Um, Who knows? But we like having fun, so... Into one of the uh, Wisconsin things that they know how to have a lot of fun over there at Wisconsin Adaptive Sports Association. Yeah, there's a they do a lot of stuff to help uh, people who are uh, physically enabled, well, physically disabled, um, in one manner or another, um, play sports uh, such as uh, sled hockey, uh, wheelchair lacrosse, wheelchair rugby, wheelchair. Basketball, basketball, tennis, uh, bowling, 
uh, tennis, wheelchair tennis and bowling, quad rugby, and goalball. Yep. And a lot of that is uh, reliant on grants and uh, sponsors. Uh, three of those uh, teams are actively sponsored by uh, members of the Milwaukee sports community. Uh, Admirals do the sled hockey, uh, Milwaukee Bucks do the basketball, and uh, Marquette University does the lacrosse. I would not be surprised if the Wave had a non-mention with their soccer. I wouldn't be surprised either. Or at least goalball. Yeah. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised on that. So, But um, a lot of those uh, sports are directly funded by WASA themselves, and apart from keeping the lights on, a lot of the, like, if it's not the grant, it's all reliant on donations from uh, people like us to viewers like you. So we're not, we're, we're like, they don't ask us to do this, but we, are, you know, they're a part Actually, of our we started doing this without them knowing, and then they catched on and they liked it, so. Yeah, they caught on completely. <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, we wanted to do this because we know them a lot in our uh, section as Admirals fans. Uh we uh, sit in front of, uh, or they sit in front of us, one of them does, uh, he's the goalie of the Admiral Sled Hockey Team, and that's uh, Steve Johnson. Yes. So he's one of the uh, uh, Sled Hockey teammates. But uh, no, uh, the best way to help donate to them is through their website at uh, wasa.org. We can have three options to donate. One is a direct donation uh, pledge. The other is uh, contributions through your Amazon cart with, uh, I believe it's uh, 10 or 15% of the proceeds go back to WASA, or they have their Oscar Mike t-shirts with another organization because uh, they are they are inclusive to uh, veterans. Yes, the uh, they are a veteran-run, owned and operated organization, which is nonprofit. Uh, the owner, really good guy, served two tours in Iraq. Um, he was wounded and looked for a way, and WASA helped him. And then he turned around and uh, helped create uh, more funding for them by with a company called Oscar Mike, mm-hmm. um, which was more towards helping veterans get into sports. So it's kind of like the two working together. You could also help out by buying, like we said, with the Oscar Mike thing, you get a shirt, you help out Oscar Mike, and you help out Wausau. Yeah. Well, it's kind of a win-win, and you get to help two uh, amazing organizations in the process. Yeah. And their shirts are like really nice. Like I've, I would buy one if I wasn't always broke. They they're not of, cheap, however. They kind of do that base layer Under Armour like shirt. Yeah, they're all like nice. fifty bucks or more though, so it's like still uh, like most of those you can actually write off. Yeah, that's a tax deductible. But not saying that that's the main, you know, the main uh, goal of doing it. But again, like this is all towards getting word out. And if you can't donate, visit their page. Uh, check out their website. Uh, they have a Facebook page where they post uh, f- photos all the time. They have a Twitter page, if I remember correctly. Uh, but no, social media-wise, they're pretty active. Or share our videos uh, with the uh, the ones that have WASA attached to them. You could donate through that one, or you could donate through our videos to the uh, set, uh, the the community foundation of Middle Tennessee. Yep. You could also donate on our page through our videos. Through that, none of that goes to us. It goes no. straight to them. We don't. We're, we're not, not asking for anything. No. That we put the link from them into yep. our donation thing, and it just goes to them. Yep. If we're asking for donations, it's basically we're asking for other organizations. We're not. Like we're not being asked by them. We're just, you know, putting their name out on it. But, nope. Um, speaking of uh, speaking of money being put out. Who uh who funds this lovely little organization of ours? I, I know, I know, I know. It's mm-hmm. it's Hockey Locker, twenty oh two West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You could go uh there and they'll outfit you from head to toe as a hockey fan or a hockey player. Doesn't matter. They got hats and good jerseys. I believe they have hoodies and shirts. They have sticks, pucks, helmets, skates, goalie pads, goalie gloves, referee gear. And all the little knickknacky stuff you want for hockey fans too. They actually have nice little wood plaques now in the store mm-hmm. you can buy that ha- that have little hockey sayings on them. That's sweet. So you could you could have part of that. Mm-hmm. So uh, don't feel bad to check them out. No. But with that out of the way, 
And a cat in the picture, no? <laughs> or partially in the picture. Let's get into it. Um, yes, Mr. Fillsworth. Let's get into, <laughs> let's get into tonight's, uh, or today, was it this afternoon? Yes, this afternoon. Let's get into this afternoon's game, which was only a resounding single goal. A lot of defense. A lot of defense. A lot of amazing goaltending by Yusei Saros. Again. Proving more and more that he can start, I think. Yeah. I think even uh, Pekka is starting to, you know, warm up to it. Uh, uh, Pekka was always under the assumption that Saros was his replacement. Yeah. It just depended on Saros of when. Mm Mm-hmm. And the coaching. Right. So, uh. If you could flip over to Team Stats so we could get sure. a little more prepared here. Absolutely. Um, shots were 37-23. D-D. <laughs> uh, Dallas had 37. Nashville had 23. They also beat Nashville in the faceoffs. Not many teams do that, actually. Mm-mm. Nashville's got one of the better faceoff percentages amongst the league. Um one for two on the power play? Wait, you're telling me that they've scored multiple games in a row with a power play goal? Something's starting to catch on, I think. Um. So, yeah, I mean, one for two on the power play. Uh, Stars were 0 for 2. Um, 33 to 10 in the hits, so they let them be physical, and Nashville kind of just went, okay, you're going to do that? Well, we're going to block all your shots. You want to hit us? Fine. We'll block... It'll make us numb to the pain of blocking all your shots. Also, I think Corey Perry was just trying too hard tonight. (laughs) By the way, he had another one to Tenorti. (laughs) Getting under Corey Perry's skin. Mm -hmm. Not many people can get under his skin. It's normally his job to get under yours. Which, like, that's even more, you know, props to, uh... It's even more props to a Jared Tenorti, like, because we we know how he plays. We, like, we've had, like, how many seasons of him... To know exactly uh, how he goes, like how he, how he goes after and go at uh, others without you know directly doing it, because what was like Perry will always like sit around the corner of the crease and say like, "Is this bug you? Or does this bug you? I'm not touching you," kind of thing. But uh, like Tenorti basically found a way to kind of short circuit it. Was it fry his circuits a little bit? Yeah, because he'd go there and go right next to him and be like, ha, I'm not touching you either. I'm not touching you and it bugs you. <laughs> yeah, because he wants the contact so he could draw some kind of flopping penalty. Yeah. All right, so outside of that, the Dallas had more giveaways by three. Uh, Bonte score. <laughs> well, there was no goals in the first, but there was there was a, the goal in the second. It was on the power play. It was by Ryan Ellis. His eighth of the season with an assist by Matt Duchesne is 29th, and Victor Arvidsson is 12th. There would be no other scoring for the rest of the game because it was a one nothing game. Yep. And uh, Jose Saros gets another shutout. Amazing. 37 saves. 37 glorious saves. Um, there was one spot in the game that I almost had a heart attack. Yeah, which one was that? Uh, when it rang off the post. Oh, <laughs> and you could clearly hear it. Yeah, it was, there was a lot of empty seats in a, was it, uh, American Airlines Center today. I'm just like, what's going on? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not 100% sure on that. I don't even know what's going on. I know the Mavericks had a game this afternoon. Oh, uh, that may well. be. But, uh, no, like, who knows? But it was a decent game. Like, no, oh! Nothing. Well, should we should we throw in the um the uh, ha, 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 for this one? Um, the ha, 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 ha. Uh, can you throw me the uh, other opposing goalie before I throw that in there? Sure. Uh, the opposing goalie was oh poor Ben Bishop. Ben Bishop, all six foot six of him, and he stopped twenty two of twenty three with a point nine five seven save percentage. Again, not a bad goalie. Um, referees were John McIsaac and Gord Dwyer. Uh, linesmen were Derek Gibson and former NHL goon Derek Brisbois. Again, for goons and goons and you know officiating NHL games in the future. Um, head coach for Nashville is John Hines. Head coach for Dallas. Let's see if I get this right. Rick 
Bonus. There you go. You got uh, it. All you right, get a got, bonus for that. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You're going to pay for it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, scratches for Nashville were Dan Ham, Hughes, Yannick Weber, Colin Blackwell, and Austin Watson. Scratches for Dallas were Andre Sequeira, Tyler Fadoon, and Alexander Radulov. What'd you do? Well, Did you start doing this again? <laughs> so what's what's the ha-ha moment? The Wild lost 7-3. to three Oh, that the... ha-ha moment. Where now we're in a, was it the second wild card slot currently? With a tie with uh, Winnipeg. Yep. So, again, do as the hashtag tells you. Embrace the grind, people. Trust me, this roller coaster ride ain't over yet. Oh no! Hey, where does it continue? Well, again, like we were watching, like how many people jumping off the wagon after uh, Edmonton. It, the Edmonton loss, even the the Wild loss too. Uh huh. It's like, oh well, that's it. I'm like, Mm-mm. I mean, I know it's not it, but there is part of you as a fan that goes, okay, are we ready for the rebuild? I mean, do we need one? Do we need a retool? Like, I mean, you know, those are thoughts that are always in the fan base's mind. Because you know as well as I do that the, like, that the lineup that we have down in, like, here in Milwaukee and what we have in Florida and then all across uh, the juniors and uh, collegiate teams. Oh, God, Tomasino, by the way. Yeah, speaking of, Philip Tomasino notching, what was it, 100? 100 points in a single OHL season. 40 yeah. goals, 60 assists. You're going to be seeing him, like, he qualifies. Because <laughs> he qualifies to to skate for, uh, at least in the AHL, right? Uh, yes. So, or, or uh, Preds preseason, even. Yes. I mean, even in next year, you'll probably see. Yeah. I doubt... He goes back to Cal or to juniors after being traded this year. Right. You know, you go back to a team you were drafted by and they trade you. Right. All righty then. So we go on the road next. Yes. So where are we going? Where are we going, Dan? On the road again. I on can't wait to get on the road, road again. again. We're gonna meet a bunch of Canadians. Yep. We're going to Montreal. Um, Le Bain of Santel? Yeah. Um, as much as people give Canadian fans crap, they hold the record for most Stanley Cups. That's true. Even Detroit don't have that one. With that 90s dynasty. <laughs> well, it's now the hockey town that is no more because the Joe is gone. Yeah. But we're talking about good here, so uh, let's see if they got anybody good on their roster. Well, we got Tomas Tatar with 22 goals, 39 assists for 61 points at a plus five. You've got Brendan Gallagher with 22 goals, 21 assists, 43 points with a plus nine. Uh, Dano, um, he has 70 games played, 13 goals, 34 assists for 47 points. Um, Armina's having a middle of the way season. Max Dome is having a good year. Uh, 17 goals, 22, 27 assists for 42 points and a plus or a minus two. Jonathan Druin, oh how the mighty have fallen. Yeah, that's like that's compared to what he's like these tallies that he's putting up now. Like yeah, he's putting up game points for like line, like line play, but. He's barely playing. Yeah. Um, and they, they're they paying him like $7 million. That's a waste. Um, and then we have Shea Weber, who's always good for quite a bit of points, with uh, 15 goals, 21 assists for uh, 36 points and a plus 9. Jeff Petrie, uh, 11 goals, 29 assists. <sighs> 40 points with a minus 11. Uh, ben Sherratt with 9 goals, 12 assists, 21 points, plus 6. Uh, you want to take the goalies? Uh, sure. I don't know their first names, though. That's the problem. <laughs> oh, we have Carey. I got Carey Price. Uh, he's played 57 games with a record of 27-24-0. Uh, goals allowed is 156 with a save at, what is it? Was it save? 
That's eight. Shots against. Shots against of seven of one thousand seven hundred and nineteen with a ouch save, with a save percentage of ninety point nine and a goals allowed percentage of or goals allowed average of uh, two point seven. So almost two point eight. Two point seven. Two point seven. Two point seven seven. Excuse me. Uh, next we have. I think that's Cedric Lindgren. We have Don't Lindgren. get me wrong, but he's uh, six games played, six two, six, uh, six games played. He's two and four with a twenty goals against, with a hundred and seventy eight shots against in six games, with a point eight 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 save percentage and a point three 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 uh, three point three three save percentage. A lot of similarities there. Yeah. Um. Beyond that. Uh, their top line is is bear with the bandwidth, folks. Yeah, and bear with the yawns. It's been a long day. <laughs> it's been a long week. Uh, here we go. All right, your top line is Archery Lankinen. Uh, he has uh, one assist in his last uh, five. Uh, we have Philip Dadno with one goal and four assists, and we have Brendan Gallagher with two goals and three assists. Beyond that, uh, Joel Armini had Joel Armini had a goal and assist. Uh, Philip or Paul Byron, Philip Byron, <laughs> race car driver. No reference, but free love for NASCAR. Um, he has uh, one goal, one assist. We have Max Domi with two goals and Jordan Wheel with a goal and an assist. So that third line is better than the first two lines. And good God, I hate that because, uh, yep. Mm. Gotta love colleges. Mm -hmm. Three pop-ups. Uh, fourth line? Nothing. Uh, their defense is as followed. With Shea Weber, no points. Ben Schrott with an assist. Uh, Jeff Petrie with two goals and an assist. I would not be too worried in this, but let's take a look at their goaltending. Oh, their power play. That's where all their goals and points are coming from. Stay out of the box and you will be okay. Or have a really good penalty kill. Either or. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Not good. No. Yeah. All right. Uh, we have Carey Price with a 1 and 2 in his last th 5 with a 3.35 goals against average with a .873 save percentage. Then we have Charlie Lindgren, 1 win, 1 loss, and a 3.00000000 save uh, goals against average with a .902 save percentage. I wouldn't count anybody out. Let's yeah. see what they got on their injury, just so if I know if anybody's day-to-day. -day. Jonathan Druin's day-to-day. -to -day. Tomas Tatar is day-to-day. -day. They, If they come back, they could be... Yeah. Reckoned with. Yeah. Yeah. Easily. So that's our uh, Predators and... Uh, Canadians preview. Don't forget to go over to Hockey Locker and check out our uh, our lovely sponsor uh, at 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Or you can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website. Oh, yeah, you can visit their website directly at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. Uh, yes, they are Milwaukee's number one stop shop for all your hockey needs. We are from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Danny Pinnell, and this is Matt Weiss. We will see you guys with an Admiral's video later. Take it easy, everybody.